The reconstruction of severely damaged teeth has always represented a challenge for aesthetic dentistry. Traditionally, the literature recommends the use of intraradicular retainers and full ceramic crowns for the restoration of these teeth. However, the evolution of composite resins and restorative techniques favors more conservative results with high aesthetic potential. I want to share with you in this lesson the step-by-step -step technique of composite resin veneers on crowns milled from a glass ceramic composite, in this case Brava block by FGM, previously cemented on aesthetic posts, cores. Initially, observe in these vestibular and occlusal views the presence of unsatisfactory composite resin restorations in units 24 and 25. Consequently, our option was to remove the restorations for the rehabilitation of the premolars. In Unit 24, due to the limited coronal remnant, the option was the use of intraradicular retainers to stabilize the piece. In Unit 25, after radiographic analysis, we decided to take advantage of the existing filling core. In this image, we can observe the coronal remnant already isolated after the removal of the restorative material and access to the root canals in Unit 24. Note that, to stabilize the special clamp, we used a resin-type top dam. The canals were unobstructed with a Largo drill number 1, and in the initial third of the canals, we used the enlarger corresponding to the DC fit post, considering that this was the previously selected post. After preparing the canals, we can note the white post DC fit posts already adjusted for cementation. Observe in these views the posts positioned in the root canals. Next, we performed a periapical radiograph to confirm the adaptation. Before cementation, we irrigated the canals with 70% alcohol and then dried them with paper cones. For the adhesive procedure, we conditioned with 37% phosphoric acid for 30 seconds on enamel and 10 seconds on dentin, followed by abundant water rinsing and drying with paper cones. See the application of AMBA Universal APS Plus Adhesive by FGM with the extra fine cavi brush. After removing the excess adhesive with a capillary cannula, we photopolymerized with the Quasa Rocket Multi-Wave LED by FGM for 60 seconds. It is important to emphasize that, before cementing the posts, they must be disinfected with 70% alcohol and subsequently silanized. Here we used ProSil for 2 minutes. For the cementation of the posts, we used Alsem Core by FGM, a dual core resin cement. Using an endodontic tip provided in the cement kit, we mixed the cement and injected it into the root canals. Here, observe the insertion of the fiber post in the palatal canal, followed by the insertion of the post in the buccal canal. In this occlusal view, the post can be seen positioned. Next, using the quasar, we photopolymerized for 120 seconds. The construction of the aesthetic filling core was performed with Alsim core cement, which has adequate resistance for this purpose. After photopolymerization, we waited 10 minutes, reduced the posts, and prepared the tooth, proceeding to the fabrication of provisionals. In this image, after 30 days, we have an occlusal view of the teeth prepared for resin crowns. In this session, impressions of both arches were taken with addition silicone silic 1 by FGM, and we obtained the plaster models. Here we have an occlusal view of the digital working model obtained by scanning this plaster model. Observe the close-up images in occlusal and profile views of the crowns with vestibular reduction planned via digital workflow. The crowns were constructed from glass ceramic composite blocks. Brava block by FGM in shade A1LT for CAD CAM milling. Here is a proximal view of a milled crown. In this other occlusal view, both milled crowns can be seen. Observe different views of the milled crowns. In this image, the crowns are positioned on the working model in plaster. You can notice the vestibular reduction performed for the subsequent fabrication of direct composite resin veneers on both crowns. We proceeded with the trial placement of the crowns. In the vestibular and occlusal views, the crowns can be seen positioned over the preparations in units 24 and 25. We moved on to the cementation phase of the pieces. Initially, the crowns were roughened with a diamond burr in the regions that would receive the addition of composite resin and resin cement. Next, after disinfecting the pieces with 70% alcohol, we applied the Silani Prosil FGM for two minutes on the internal and vestibular surfaces of the crowns. 
we applied the adhesive Ambar Universal APS Plus FGM on the previously silanized surfaces and then photopolymerized the adhesive for 40 seconds. The prepared teeth were conditioned with 37% phosphoric acid for 15 seconds, followed by abundant rinsing with water. After properly drying the substrates and applying Prosil Silan for 2 minutes on the filling cores, we applied the Ambar Universal APS Plus adhesive actively for 30 seconds. After evaporating the solvent with an air jet for 20 seconds, we photopolymerized the adhesive for 40 seconds on each face. We applied the Alsem core cement inside the crown as shown in the image. Then we positioned the crowns and photopolymerized for 60 seconds on each face. Once the pieces were cemented, we proceeded with the restorations of the vestibular faces. Considering the slightly grayish appearance of the crowns, we applied the Assist APS Opaker by FGM in pink color irregularly on the vestibular face of the crowns to increase the value of the final restoration. Note that the opacifier was not applied on the incisal third. In this image, the dentin resin A1 Vitra can be seen applied. This layer is intended to homogenize the tooth color. Next, we applied the translucent resin Transend by Vitra on the incisal third and a light brown pigment on the cervical third. We finished the veneers with Vitra enamel resins in A1 for the cervical third and BL3 for the middle third. Images comparing the initial and post-restoration appearance. It is possible to observe the aesthetic improvement and the health of the periodontal tissue. In this didactic diagram, we present the sequence used, which is extremely interesting for replicating bleached teeth. To conclude the presentation, we consider that composite resin veneers on crowns milled from glass ceramic composite represent an aesthetic, functional, and biological solution for the reconstruction of extensively damaged teeth. Compared to ceramic crowns, composite resins offer the advantages of allowing repairs, not causing wear on opposing teeth, and providing a vestibular aesthetic result that depends solely on the dentist.